All right, so here is the template reaction for hydration. Once again, it has to do with an alkene, and what all you're doing is adding water. However, it needs to be in an acidic condition, so you'll say H2O and maybe HCl. Uh, all the HCl is doing is providing acidity. In this case, uh, in the in the last reaction, the hydrohalogenation, we were in an organic solution. In this one, it's it's uh, aqueous. Um, you could also simply write it as H3O plus, which just says acidic solution, um, an aqueous acidic solution. So, just for future reference, if you write a reaction, you know, you're going from A to B, and you write H plus. That implies that there is not water. You're in, they're called, it's called anhydrous conditions. You're in some organic solvent. This H3O plus implies that there is water. So you're, you're, uh, there, there's water around to do, to do uh, chemistry. But, so with that H3O plus, what's going to happen is that double bond is still going to swing out. As you can see, uh, lots of these, these mechanisms are pretty similar. So here's uh, how I like to draw H3O plus. You kind of have the functionality of that acidic hydrogen. You have the acidic hydrogen right here, and then the rest of the water. And we can't forget that this is a positive water. It's an it's a oxonium species. So this double bond is going to go out, grab one of the hydrogens, and then you're going to get an intermediate similar to what we've already seen. So where's the? you're either going to get a carbocation here with the hydrogen, or you're going to get a carbocation here with the hydrogen there. And remember, a more substituted carbocation is more stable. So clearly, this is the more stable carbocation, which means it reacts faster, which means it's the dominant product. So what happens after that, uh, after it leaves, or after you've grabbed the hydrogen? Well, now what do we have in solution? And remember, simultaneously in solution, there's hydronium species, so you've got H3O+. Plus. At the same time as there's H2O. So after we've grabbed the uh, after we've grabbed the acidic hydrogen and we have our carbocation, what's going to attack it? Well, water is water can attack. So here's you know your basic uh, bent geometry for water. Well, those lone pair electrons are going to go in, attack that carbocation to return stability, and you're going to end up with this. So there's our, our original structure. Here's, I'll draw it in red. Here's our original structure. And now here's our water. So O, H, H. And now if you look, water, uh, as you've, you've probably seen, likes to have two bonds and two lone pairs. However, this oxygen has three bonds and one lone pair. So it is also an oxonium species. It has a positive charge. So if you'll notice, you started with something with a positive charge and something that was neutral, you had to end up with something that has a positive charge, just conservation of, uh, of charge. However, what can happen is one of those, another water in solution, so another OH2, is going to go and pull one of the hydrogens off of that oxonium species, and then those electrons are going to go onto that oxygen to return as, as lone pairs, and that oxygen will be neutral, and that water will become an oxonium species. It will become another equivalent that can do the original chemistry. So what happens is this. To draw the template again is this turns into this. And all you did is you added this water, or this OH, and you added a hydrogen. So you've added net, so plus H2O, You've added this. You've gone from there to there, and that's why it's called hydration, because you add water. You're hydrating it, whereas dehydration, as we'll eventually see, is removing water. So once again, takeaway points. This is very similar from the last hydrohalogenation video. You have a uh, carbocation intermediate, the more stable of which is going to be the far more dominant product, and you, uh, you're turning a double bond into a hydrogen on one, and on the more substituted position, you're adding, instead of, instead of a halogen, now all we're adding is an OH. So it's basically the same thing. Uh, next time we'll go over halogenation, which is very similar to hydrohalogenation and hydration. It's a very similar mechanism. Uh, see you guys then.